that you start to say, where, where as people, a group, you know, we're not getting the right education, the right health system, but what can we do to help each other? Where do we start? Right here. Right here. Right here. You know, I think, and then yeah. this is just me talking. Uh, I've, I've never did it, but you know, I mean, I, I, I always say I, I can't, I could preach it, but I can't practice it. But I, I think it starts with getting out there and getting, to, you know, know people on a different level. You know, if you have to go help at a soup kitchen to know what the people on the street live like, um, getting to know the inside of others is going to help show us the difference. I mean, I guess. I, to put it on point, everybody needs to get to know that nobody's made the same, and you just you gotta accept people for their good and their bad because that's a human being. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a duality to it, right? There's the side that says I love you for who you are, and there's the other side which is I also love you enough to call you to a higher standard of living. And I, I think that an unhealthy version of love is when you only have the first part where you just love someone for who they are. But if you're watching them drink bleach and run out in traffic and do things that just are not healthy and are not helping them, yes, it is their choice to live that way. But if I'm running into traffic, I'm sure that one day I would really appreciate if someone constantly yanked me out of traffic until I learned to stop going into traffic. 